Have you ever been curious about how memory is allocated behind the scenes in a struct in C? Well, in this video, I'm going to take a look at how you can actually print byte by byte the memory from a struct that you have created and initialized. Okay, so I have defined here a simple struct. It's called thing, of course, and we have here an integer, a, char a character, a string, a pointer even, and a short. I'm going to take a look at what's happening behind the scenes. So first, let's get the size of this thing, right? We want to know exactly how much is it. So to do this, we have to first define the thing. So let's see, thing here, it's going to be T. I'm going to use the struct initializer here and say, okay, well, first is a test. Test is going to be equal to 12. Then we have the character K. Let's do testing here. That would be the this string here. Next up is a pointer. Well, I'm going to have to define an I anyway, so I'm going to get to that later. Um, so I'm going to get just a reference of I. doesn't really matter what's in there. I just want to look at what's happening with that memory. Okay? We're not going to use this thing to do some calculations or anything. And then there's a short. I'm going to do 256 for this. And semicolon right there. So let's first print F, the size of this T. And you might know that the size of operator actually does return an uh, unsigned 64-bit integer, which means that we have to do the percent %llu specifier right here. I'm going to say backslash n as well. So if I hit F11 here, we're going to get the number 32. Okay? So the size of our thing is 32. Well, if I, if I try to add them all up, let's see what's going to happen. Let, let's try and um, add them all up byte by byte. So we know that int is what? Four bytes. Okay, so that's four. This should be one byte. Okay, at least one byte. STR should be 10 bytes because we've defined it as 10 charts. A pointer, since I'm using a 64-bit compiler up here, it should be eight bytes. And the short should be only, well, what? Two bytes. Okay? And if we add up, add them all up, we get what? 20, 25. And we don't get 32. Well, why is that? Um, we're going to take a look at this in just a moment. For now, just keep in mind that this is not, you, you're supposed to n maybe not get the exact, if you add them all up, you're supposed to not get the exact um, size in here. Okay? So don't worry. First, let's try and print every single byte using a for loop. So we're going to go for i equals 0, i less than what? Well, we want to print how many bytes? Well, size of t bytes, right? So the size of t bytes. <clears throat> and in here, what do we do? Well, first we have to ask what's a byte in C. A byte is, well, we know that a char has the length of byte, length of the byte, but we don't want it to be signed. So we want an unsigned char, okay? We want an unsigned char. In fact, I'm going to declare it up top and say data. <clears throat> okay, and this data is going to be to equal, equal to what? Well, we want to first um, dereference an address, okay? So t is going to be involved, of course, and we want to add to t or to the address of that t, we want to add i bytes. But you might know that uh, adding to an to a pointer of type thing is going to add that number times the size of thing. That's how pointer aromatic works. So we will have to first convert this into an unsigned or just signed char pointer. Okay. So I'm just going to convert it like that. And now whenever I'm adding to it, we're just going to add i bytes, not i times size of thing bytes. That'd be way too many bytes. We're going to go way beyond our thing. <clears throat> okay. And all we have to do now is just do this and dereference this thing. So we get the actual, oops, we get the actual byte in here. Okay. Now we have the data. We have to print it on the screen. Simple enough. Just the printf and to print an unsigned char, you might know that you we're going to print it on in hexadecimal, so we're going to just use percent %x, but just to be sure, we're going to print always two, two characters, 
right? So that we, it's somewhat aligned and we can take a look at it nicely. I'm going to say 0 to x. It just says always print two characters. If you have the number 3, it's going to print 0, 3 instead of just 3. And then a space in here and um, then the data. One more thing I want to do. <coughs> One more thing I want to do here is if i% percent 4 is 0, I want to simply print fa backslash n. Okay, so that's about it. If we try to run this, we will be getting this thing shown in our console. This is basically the memory inside our T here. Exactly how it's allocated and how it works. Okay, so let's let's find out what's, what's in here, what's up. So we know an int is four bytes. So we would expect that the four, the first line is just our test, our int test here. And if we look at the numbers here, we see a C here. C is 12 in hexadecimal. So that's, that's probably correct. Um, but it's weird that it's on, it's the first byte that we're printing. Shouldn't it be, shouldn't it be here? Well, if you know a little bit of operation, operating systems, um, you might know that Windows is on little endian, and I'm using Windows here. So, because it's on little endian, everything is like reversed, right? So the most significant byte is the last one, is not the first one, like you're used to. So that's why C is here. That's okay. Rest is zero. If we reverse this, we get 12 in hexadecimal on four bytes. That's nice. Next up, we have 6B. Well, what's the 6B? It should be the, this K that we have defined, and it actually has the value of character K. So let's take a look at an ASCII table. I have opened here an ASCII table, and if we look at K here, K is 6B. So that is correct. Nice. What's uh, next? Next is that testing um, string that we had here, and that's 74. Let's, let's see if that's correct as well. That should be 74. And here it is, a T. And if I look at E as well, 65, it should be 65, and 73, and so on. So that, that, sh that should uh, say testing in, um, in ASCII, right? So T-E-S-T-I-N-G, and then the null terminator, and then, well, since this is on 10 bytes, we should get... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But we get an extra one. I'm going to get to that. Next up, we get 48FE23. What does that mean? Well, that simply means uh, the address of our i here. We passed in the address of i, and this was saved in this pointer. And since this pointer is on 8 bytes, we get two rows for just that pointer. Okay? which is nice. The rest of it is zero. It's okay. It's on uh, little endian, so um, the number starts with zero, actually, and it ends with those 48 FE or 23 FE48. Okay, that's amazing. And next up, we have our short. Our short is here. It's only two bytes, so it should be the first two here, and it's zero one. Well, if we just single out this, it has the value 0001. Well, there's just one in hexadecimal, but since it's little endian, we have to reverse it, right? And we reverse it byte by byte. Just kind of do that. So it's just 0100, actually, at its value. And that in hexadecimal, well, how do you cal calculate this? This is actually 1 times 16 to the power of 2, right? This would be to the power of 1, this will be to the power of 0, this is to the power of 2. And that's exactly 256. So that's exactly our value right here in hexadecimal. And we have some more extra zeros. Now what's happening there? What's, what's with that, what's with that um, extra memory, you might ask? Well, that has a little bit to do with how the compiler actually saves, thing, saves structs in the memory. I'm going to take a look uh, in depth more on this in a later video. But just 
uh, keep in mind that all it does it just adds a couple zeros to uh, say okay well we want everything to be in certain spots in memory so that the CPU can access them uh, fast okay so that's about it with printing uh, our struct on here and we can see it right here um, let's see if I just if I missed anything uh, no not really um, you can actually do this for if you really want to you can simply also print out let's see let's do print f backslash and here and you can also print it out as a, a number here which is should be zero three h h u and that would also be converted to a number and now you're printing them in de decimal and you will notice that we have that 12 here instead of 0c okay so there are a lot of ways you can you can print this you can even do actually um a really cool one is printing them as characters i like doing that um just seeing what's what's happening here and you'll notice that we get that uh, k that we saved in here right this k character is in this variable and then we get the testing here and then we get the null terminator and then there's an there's an uppercase h that's probably just from the from the pointer and then we get 256 right there and that's actually i think one uh yeah it might be one because yeah it's treated as one because uh, the second byte is just one but is that to the power of uh, or times 256 okay so i hope you got something out of it i hope you understood what's going, what's happening behind the scenes here and uh you can actually experiment it with uh any type of struct you want even the ones that uh used day to day from other libraries you can do this and take a look at how it's allocated well thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time uh, where i cover the extra bytes that are happening in here that are that we don't that we get in our struct so thanks for watching and see you next time